Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So now I'm continuing the problems on incomplete records, main problems. Last video I have completed three problems on main problems on incomplete records. Now in this video, fourth and fifth problem I'm going to explain. So before starting the fourth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under the description. So take a printout and keep it ready before start watching this video. Take a screenshot of the solution of fourth and fifth problem, then I'll explain all the points. Come on, see the fourth problem. <clears throat> Hazim does not keep a full set of accounting records, but he has provided following information. So he has not, uh, he does not keep a full set of accounting records, means incomplete records. So some information is given, summarized bank statement. The bank statement, debit side, credit side. Debit side, balance brought down 18,000 and cash from receivables 48,000. The debit side all receipts, credit side all payments. The beginning of the period, beginning of the year, the bank balance was 18,000. And during the year cash received from customers, cash received from receivables are 48,000. The total cash 66,000. Out of 66,000, cash will be paid to suppliers. That is payment to payables. The cash to payables 32,000. 32,000 rupees are paid. The remaining balance is uh, sorry, general expenses are 7,000 paid. Two payments are there. One payment cash to payables in a payment made to payables. Secondly, general expenses paid 7,000. The balance remaining cash is 27,000. So from this summarized balance sheet, three things are coming out. The three things are, first of all, cash is received from receivables, 48,000. Cash is paid to payables, 32,000. And cash is paid for general expenses, 7,000. These three points you have to remember. Now, opening, 1st March 2016 opening and 28th February 2017 is the closing. The opening and closing balances are given trade receivables, Opening 750, closing 930. Trade payable, opening 1000, closing 800. Inventory, opening 800, closing 400. You have been asked to prepare the accounts to calculate gross profit. It is asking you to calculate the gross profit by preparing the accounts. See, just like the previous problem. In the last video, second, third problem we have done, the similar way we have to make. Remember two points. Trade receivable account we have to make to find out sales revenue. Trade payables account we have to make to find out purchases. Once you get sales revenue and purchases, easily you can prepare a statement to find out the profit earned. That's all. Now see carefully. Hazim, trade receivable account. First of all, we take the opening and closing balance. Opening balance, debit side. Trade receivable, opening balance, debit side. Balance brought down 750. It is given in the problem. So opening, this is the opening balance. Closing balance will be taken on the opposite side. Balance carried down 930. This is the closing balance. Closing balance. So in the problem it is given, opening balance, debit side, closing balance, credit side. Now, Cash is received from receivables. How much cash is received? 48,000. 48,000 cash is received. So entry will be bank account debit, receivables account credit. When we receive the money, bank should be debited. And who is the giver? Receivables are the giver. So receivables account credit side, cash book, bank. How much cash is received? 48,000 given in the cash book. So this 48,000 we got. Closing balance is 930. 
Now balancing figure will be the sales revenue, credit sales. Now uh, credit side you take 48,000 plus 930, 48, 930, 48, 930 minus 750, 48, 930 minus 750. So 48,930 minus 750, you will get 48,180, 48,180. This is the balancing figure. And the purpose of making this receivables account is to find out the sales. 48,000 That's it. This sales revenue we require to calculate gross profit. Now we'll make trade payables account. This trade payables account is prepared to find out the purchases. First we take opening and closing balances. Opening balance credit side. Balance brought down 1000. This is the opening. Remember, receivables and payables are opposite. Receivables are assets. Payables are liability. So assets will show debit balance. So debit side, balance brought down. Whereas liability will show credit balance. So credit side, balance brought down 1000. This is the opening balance. Closing balance will be taken on the debit side. This is the closing balance. Closing balance is 800 given in the problem. So opening balance 1000, closing balance 800. Now cash is paid to payables. How much cash is paid? 32,000. 32,000 cash is paid to payables. The entry will be payables debit bank credit. So payables debit. So debit side cash book bank 32,000. 32,000 given in the problem, 32,000 pay. Over. Now we we'll take the balancing figure as purchases. So debit side 32,000 plus 800, 32,800. Credit side also same line you take 32,800. From 32,800 minus 1,000. So 32 minus 1,000, 31,800 purchases. That's it. We got sales revenue, we got purchases. Now simply we have to find out the gross profit by making a statement. St income statement for the year ended 28 February 2017. Sales revenue, we got it from here, 48,000 From this less cost of sales. Opening inventory 800 given in the problem. In the problem opening and closing balances are given. Inventory opening 800. And purchases made during the period is 31,800 to add up. 800 plus purchase of 31,800, 32,600. From this, deduct the closing inventory given in the problem, 400. So 32,600 minus 400, 32,200. This is the cost of sales. Now deduct sales revenue minus cost of sales will get the gross profit. Now 48,180 minus 32,200. You will get 15,980. So 15,980 is the gross profit. That's all. This is the end of problem number four. Now fifth problem. Abel does not keep a full set of accounting records. Means incomplete records. He provided the following information for the year ended 31st March 2019. So we are given the information 31st March 2019 and 31st March 2018. So 2018 is the last year, 2019 is the current year. So opening balances are 31st March 2018 and closing balances are 31st March 2019. So we are given opening inventory, closing inventory, trade payable, opening, closing, trade receivable, opening, closing. During the year ended 31st March, receipts from credit customers were 47,600. Cash received from customers is 47,600. Cash banked were 3,600 after Able took $2,000 for personal use. Cash banked were 3,600. This means cash sales. The business has sold the goods for cash and whatever cash is received that is banked. That means it is deposited in the bank. So simply 3600 are the cash sales and 2000 rupees worth of goods 
are taken by the owner for personal use. So when the owner takes money or goods from the business for personal use, it is called drawings. So here 2000 are the drawings, 3600 cash sales and payments to suppliers 38,200. Calculate for the year ended 31st March 2019 total sales, total purchases. Prepare an extract of the income statement for the year ended 31st March 2019 showing the trading section only. Trading section means only we have to find out gross profit. Only we have to find out gross profit. Gross profit will be ascertained by preparing trading section. That's it. So here some new points will come across. As usual, just like the last problem, we have to make trade receivables account and trade payables account. Trade receivables account to find out sales revenue. Trade payables account to find out the purchases. Trade receivable account. First of all, opening balance. In the problem, it is given 3,800 as the opening balance. In the problem, 31st March 2018 is the opening. 31st March 2019 is the closing. So trade receivable opening 3800, closing 4400. So opening 3800 here I have taken and closing 4400 I have taken, opening closing. Similarly cash received from customers, it is given receipts from credit customer 47600. Trade receivables are the customers. So cash is received. So bank account debit, trade receivable credit. So trade receivable credit side, cash book, cash received is 47,600. Or now easily we can find out how much are the credit sales, sales revenue. So credit side 47,600 plus 4,400, 52,000. 52,000 minus 3,800. The balancing figure is 48,200. This 48,200 are the credit sales. So credit sales are not given in the problem. By making this statement, we have calculated credit sales. Almost in every problem, we are doing the same thing. Now, total sales. In this problem, not only we have credit sales, but also we are given cash sales. It is given cash banked with 3,600. After able took $2,000 for personal use. $2,000 for personal use. So actually cash sales were 3,600 plus 2,000. 5,600. Out of 5,600, 2,000 rupees he has taken for personal use. And 3,600 were banked. So both will be taken here. Credit sales 48,200, cash sales 3,600, goods taken by the uh, owner for personal use 2,000. So total comes to 53,800. These are the total sales. This is the new point in this problem. Now total payables account. So opening payables will be taken on the credit side opposite. Here receivables we have taken opening debit side. Payables will take opening on the credit side. So payable, opening balance 1900, closing balance 1600. Given in the problem, opening balance, closing balance. Now cash paid to suppliers. When we pay the cash to suppliers, the entry will payables account debit, bank account credit. When we pay cash, the cash is going out. So bank should be credited. To whom we are paying? Payables. The payables debit side, cash book payment 38,200. Or now we can easily find out the balancing figure. Take the total 38,200 plus 1,600, 39,800. From 39,800, deduct 1,900. So remaining balancing figure is 37,900. This 37,900 are the credit purchases. We got credit purchases. By making this account, we come to know. Now, total purchase means credit purchases plus cash purchases. But here in our problem, cash purchases are not given. Cash purchases are not given. 
So whatever credit sales are there, that is the total. That whatever credit purchases are there, same is the total purchase. Purchase thirty seven thousand nine hundred. Now we are required to prepare an income statement for trading section only. Means finding out the gross profit. So here revenue fifty three eight hundred. Here we got. Where is that revenue? Here fifty three eight hundred is the total revenue. From this cost of sales, cost of sales formula opening inventory. Plus purchases minus closing inventory. So opening inventory given in the problem eight thousand six hundred. It is given. Purchases just now we have calculated thirty seven nine hundred. Add up forty six five hundred. From this deduct closing inventory given in the problem nine thousand. Deduct nine thousand thirty seven five hundred is the cost of sales. Now deduct. Fifty three eight hundred minus thirty seven five hundred sixteen thousand three hundred is the gross profit. That's it. So in this video, I have completed two problems. That is fourth and fifth. Inshallah, the next problem will continue in the next video.